All right, so that's Aaron in six right there. <clears throat> and I'm going to be traveling to the star, which is just Aradin. I just lock the destination. And so you can see here, Aradin is over there, 5,825 light seconds away. I don't know why it says greater than a year. Maybe at my present speed it is greater than a year. I'm just spinning around here just to put myself in the right plane. And here we go. So, Lisa, you got the training queue all stacked up for tomorrow's upgrade? I can't even see Aaron in anymore. Or Aaron in 6, rather. I am, however, very close to it, which is why I can't go faster right now. I'm going fairly slow. 0 0.2, 0 0.34, but the speed is climbing as I get away from... Uh, from the planet I'm nearby. Now I'm starting to really pick up speed. 12, 14. There we go. It's really picking up speed now. Ninety nine. I'm just kind of flying over the uh, the orbital plane here where all the other stuff is. I'm eating too, so go fuck yourselves. Space travel in his hungry business. So you can see that my speed is going down again. It's because I'm getting close to some other orbital bodies. But as soon as I start getting away from them again, speed will start coming back up. And it seems like the best way to travel between planets is actually that the other way of that you know the, the more effective way is to to go away and then come back in because you can get going so much faster. You don't really have to get that far out, but when you have stuff in front of you, you can't um, go as fast. So there's the star going 26 times the speed of light, I guess. And this thing is. This is just a light show. And I also love how every time I'm getting close to the stars, the music just picks up. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> um, that light right there, that's, that's actually another player warping around. Oh, there goes another one. And we're going to start slowing down. Oh, oh! Look at that! And there we are. At the center of the system. That... that is just... <laughs> incredible. <laughs>